Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters and friends all around the world. Namaste, Sasri Akal, Kamcho, and hello. It's your brother Naseem Khan on UCTV with Face the Facts, and this time we're going to be talking about the topic, the situation that's going on in Afghanistan at this moment in time. You've seen all the videos, you've seen all the stuff. I hope this video doesn't get blocked because it is in regards to the Taliban and how they've taken over. And my guest today is the one and only Muhammad Afa Khan. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as how are you today? Tikat. How's everything? How's your travel? Perfect, mashallah. That's very good. Thank you very much for calling me. No problem, no problem. Obviously, you are the man, and obviously, you're Patan, I'm Patan, but uh, there is no links there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, so basically, obviously, you know what's been going on. Yeah. So quickly, everything, you know, how. Everything just happened. It's been yeah. shocking. With over a few days, yeah. you know what I mean. Boom, 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 yeah. and they're in. So, how how have they taken over so quickly? Despite you know three hundred thousand uh, Afghans army, you know, fully equipped and stuff. Yeah. How they how it doesn't make uh, sense. I know a lot of people have this question to be very honest, Nasim Bhai. And uh, what we need to understand is the strategy of of Taliban. And there's yeah. a very famous saying in Afghanistan that. If you get the Kandahar, you will get the Kabul as well. Right. So as soon as they got the, uh, the, the Kandahar and uh, the, the good strategy that we all need to appreciate actually, you know, in terms of military, when you say that they did not enter into the cities, what they did was actually they surrounded the city and blocked the entrance of the city. So okay. nobody could come in. Right. And also second thing was whenever the Afghan army would fight, they would go with the help of Americans air force. You know, you know, America has never fought any war without the Air Force, mm -hmm. ammunition, logistics and everything. So when the America withdraw, uh, so the logistics went out of the window, ammunition they were not able to get. So they knew it that if America could not fight them on the ground, how are we able to do that? So that's why I think they surrendered and in just a couple of hours, in a couple of days, uh, the freedom fighters were able to get the control of the entire Afghanistan. But there's still something doesn't make sense, does it? There are a lot of conspiracies, there are a lot of things that people would say, but I think right now we need to talk practical. Yeah. What we think, what we can understand about the situation. Yeah. So right now we should keep focus on that and let's see what happens next. Over 20 years, it's been very difficult to win the war against yeah. Afghanistan. So. Yeah, because what happened was, uh, uh, I know you, you, you actual question is that over 20 years, yeah. different countries fought, yeah, but yeah. nobody could win. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, first of all, there are two reasons. First is the, the Afghanistan is a locked territory and nobody can fight there for a long time. You know, when America and different countries came with such a shano shock that they're going to come yeah, to Afghanistan, yeah. I think they forgot to read the history about yeah. Af Afghanistan. And second thing is, and I see, but there was a big difference in thinking of uh, the freedom fighters, which we call Taliban, and uh, the, another was the American soldiers. So when they came to Afghanistan, after three, four years, they realized they made a mistake. So the ratio of suicide was 25%. Out of 100,000, at least 25 people, soldiers actually, will uh, commit suicide. America have invested more money on their mental health than any other thing in the soldier. And this, I'm, I'm not saying this is something yeah. just Bati or just because I'm Muslim. It is Statistics. written in the books uh, by the BBC, CNN reporters and the people who used to go to Afghanistan war. So when they realized this, they came up with the very famous saying that the James Bond uh, writer who wrote this, that where you can send the bullet, do not send us. Like where mm. you can send the men, do not send us. So mm. they started coming up with that. So then this is why they started using the, the, the drone technology. Mm. Uh, but this was the one of the reasons. Yeah. The another biggest reason is the thinking. Because ek taraf American soldiers committing suicide and on another side, the freedom fighters want to be killed. They want to get martyred. Like every Muslim, we, we want to get martyred. Like yeah. how can you kill someone or how can you threat some, you know, give a threat to somebody and say, I'm going to kill you. They say, okay, if you want to kill me, Bismillah, that's what I am here for. So if your intention is to go on the ground and get killed and the, another person who have intentions to go on the ground and try not to get killed, obviously the person who will, the, the nation who will win, are the people who want to get killed because this is the subsidy them get kisi ko ye de sakte hain so i think these the, the biggest thing is ye soch mein tabdili jo taliban ki soch thi aur jo freedom fighters ki soch thi dusri taraf jo america ki soch thi isme bahut bada fark tha and that's the reason i think uh, nobody could ever win against afghanis to isme india ka role kya tha india ka to bahut bada role tha Achha. india actually invested a lot of money not only india a lot of countries invested a lot of money but india invested in dams in universities 
So this is why even India was saying, oh, nobody could win in, against Afghan army. They are fully equipped and everything because they were hoping that Taliban would not come into the power. Because as soon as they came into the power, the dam that they built uh, by spending millions of dollars, they took the, uh, you know, the full control of the, the dam only in five minutes. Five Universities minutes. that they built to, 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 exactly, to, to, to change the perception of the Afghan uh, locals. Uh, the Taliban also took over that in a couple of minutes as well. So I think India has lost, if I'm not wrong, around three billion dollars. A lot of money, though. <laughs> if they would have invested in their own country, I think they would have changed the the, the country. Future. See, there's different um, concepts here. There's different mind thinking here as well. You yeah. know, some people think that the Taliban government is good for Afghanistan. Yeah. Yeah. Majority of them saying it's not good for yeah. Afghanistan. Yeah. What's the? What do you think is behind that? Well, to be very honest, I can't comment on that because I am not Afghani. But what I would say is that there are a lot of Afghani brothers and sisters who are not happy with that. And that's, that's their right. If somebody does not like Taliban does not mean they are not Muslim. They, they, they might have their own reasons for that. But a lot of people are using that video. You must have seen very horrible video when the Afghan locals are actually yeah, trying I was just to get... Yeah, I was yeah. just going to touch on that. Like, yeah. It was like they were leaving. People were saying, obviously, they're leaving their families, yeah. you know, the women and... Uh, children and they're jumping on the plane. What was yeah. all that about? Yeah, so what happened was that before America was going, obviously, when they said public announcement was that those who were the translators, those who were the clerks, the drivers, and everybody who somehow helped America in, uh, while America was in Afghanistan. So we would take all of them to America. And there was a in, intentional public announcement mm. to create the chaos that, oh, look at this. America is now going, so look, Afghan locals are crying about it. But there are a lot of videos as well where they are actually, uh, you know, welcoming Taliban. So if you see that video very carefully, obviously you are in the business for a long, long time. So mm -hmm. if you see that video very carefully, you will see not everybody wants to jump onto that uh, that uh, aeroplane. A lot of people are waving at it. They're saying Nara Takbir and all these kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think this was the last uh, propaganda that they could do that, you know, since we are leaving, the Afghan locals are uh, very sad about this. I would uh, tell you a very funny story. I saw a video when they went to Afghanistan. So they were showing the 9-11 pictures, mm. which was obviously a very sad incident. They were showing the pictures to the Afghan locals. What do you think about this? So they were like, look, and said, I think it's a Kandahar. I want to say it's Kabul. So they said, no, it's America where your people came and did this. So to, to which one of the local replied, it was very good. He said, what are you talking about? We don't even have a donkey in Afghanistan. <laughs> you saying that we actually came in the airplane and did this. So, you know, there's sadgi and, you know, yeah, yeah. Simplicity. you see simplicity uh, in, in Afghan locals. So we can just um, wish for them to, you know, may Allah give them istiqamat and mm -hmm. whatever the right now, the current government, whichever our Prime Minister Joris wants. Before I, <laughs> I, I want to switch on from there as well. Do you think personally there will be a change amongst the, uh, our women out there? There is a lot of change, you know. I, I was, Do you think the Western uh, input is going to change or is going to go back to old school? No, 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 it was not. When we say old school, I know, you know, back in the like 20 years ago, they were very, very strict about it. But as they said, the first ever the press conference that happened or the first ever interview they gave was the, the presenter was a woman. And they said clearly, obviously, they can drive, they can work, they can go to school as far as they are. Uh, doing everything under the mm -hmm. sh Sharia or the, under the Islamic. For mm -hmm. example, when you go to France, they say, look, you can do whatever you want, but you can't wear the hijab. So why are we not very bothered about that? Mm -hmm. You can go to France, you can do whatever you like, but you cannot wear a hijab. So they are saying you can do whatever you like, but you should wear a hijab. Mm -hmm. So I think we should not be hypocrite and we should uh, understand each of this culture Fair and religion. Point. And uh, do you think this Pakistan is playing a role in this? <laughs> Okay, this is a very sensitive question, to be very <laughs> honest. Uh, you know, I always call our Prime Minister Joris Bonson instead of Boris Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because one of my nephew call him uh, Joris Bonson. So, uh, as I was saying that he actually called Pakistan as well and said that, you know, what should we do? Yeah. You know, shall we accept the Taliban? I think if we talk about the role of Pakistan, uh, that there was a chief of ISI. He once said a very golden quote. He said that in 2015, he said this. That when the history will be written, they will say that America, Pakistan beat America with the help of America. So 
this is the only thing I can say. There's no controversy going on there, isn't it? <laughs> so there is a, a mix-up of, do you think, like, political agenda? But to be very honest, to be very honest, agenda. we as a Pakistanis, uh, whether be it be government or the local people, we love Afghanis, you know, they are our brothers and sisters. There are a lot of Afghan refugees in Pakistan. They are mm. working, they are, you know, making money, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Pakistan have helped Afghanistan every single time that they could do, despite of you know, being labeled as a terrorist country and all this kind of stuff, but they still help Taliban, uh, the, sorry, uh, the Afghan locals. So, <laughs> I, I said, is handling this very well because every time we meet, I always put him on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think personally can the Taliban be trusted? Do you think can America be trusted? Do you think can British can be trusted? Do you think can India be trusted? You know, a lot of people have asked this question and I appreciate that you're asking these kind of questions. To be very honest, if somebody asks, can they be trusted? How can you trust America? How can you trust, uh, you know, how, how can you trust America uh, in a country which does not even really belong to them? How can you trust India to the, in the country which does not even really belong to them? We, can, we should trust them. You know, they have done their press conference. They said what we want to hear. They, I think people are still very hesitant because they are blaming them as the main people who have uh, look there's a there's a 20 the, years there's a there are there's a 20 year of uh, media uh, propaganda behind it and it will take time for people to understand the actual meaning of the word taliban like a lot of people have this policy not to use the word taliban but if you can use the word lgbtq if you can use the word prostitute if you can use this filthy word as like prostitute and and terrorist and why can't we use the word taliban because we need to educate people the word taliban is is the plural of a talib People are using the word Afghan student, freedom fighters, but since uh, our prime minister has started using the word, uh, the prime minister, of, uh, president of America has started using this word. Yeah, the whole media is yeah, using it, but some platforms, the like they pick up these words and ban them. Yes, if you want to class them as what they are, that's fine. But, yeah. you know, when you're having an interview, I don't think it's anything. So what is Talib then? Explain uh, yeah, talib. talib for the people out there. Basically, if Urdu means Talib, Jo Elm Hasil the person who wants to get the education. Seeking knowledge. Seeking knowledge. So that's Talib. So yeah, Talib covered and the plural is Taliban. So they are the students and oh. obviously just the Rikas in Kopotre Kia Gya hai, just like Zamana may remember, you know, at the, the time I'd say Bisal Pehle Molana Sahab was such oh. a respectable oh. word. You know, if they would go to, uh, on the street, you would just you know put the volume down for music, slow our car down, say assalamu alaikum, make sure that they don't catch us in front of masjid yeah, yeah, yeah. and now what happens as soon as you see the molana sahab you shoot the volume even more up because the ye propaganda image is image 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 fault hai. it's hmm. not the qom ka bhi fault hmm. reason be because the molvis put themselves in that position yeah bahut sari with regards to some yeah. of the stuff you yeah, 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 yeah. you know I've, about. I've, I've thought about I've, I've seen a couple of videos a lot of videos like this as well so obviously jis tarah wo kehte hai na ke uh, ek मछली जो है ना पूरे तालाब को गंदा नहीं कर सकता हमें ये चाहिए कि हम हर बंदे को उसके ऊपर फिर ब्लेम ना करें अगर एक बंदे हाउ कैन यू कन्विंस द पीपल आउट देयर ऑब्वियसली वी डोंट नो देम पर्सनली वी जस्ट टॉकिंग इन जनरल बट हाउ कैन यू कन्विंस द पीपल आउट देयर हाउ कैन यू मेक देम अंडरस्टैंड कि उनके पास कैपेबिलिटी है और उनका इंटेंशन क्या है ये कैपेबिलिटी की बात आपने की अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर सेइंग दे डोंट इवन हैव अ टेबल मैनर्स यू नो दे डोंट इवन नो हाउ टू सिट ऑन द टेबल दे डोंट इवन नो हाउ टू go to the gym and it's all sort of thing you know funny videos are coming out look they have the manners to fight they have the manners to stand up for their right they have the manners to keep you away for 20 years they have the manners to kick you out in flipping two hours so if they have all these manners and they have the manners to speak in front of the camera they have the manners to 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 get interviewed by anyone be it bbc or cnn yeah. so don't worry about these manners because what about the one our people yeah alhamdulillah they have a lot of table manners what's going on with pakistan you know our prime minister presence they you know so far in the history they all had the good table manners but what happened to our country forget the table manner we don't need this all we want is someone to have the manner to run the country that's understandable 100 percent. but then people still like the gym situation yeah yeah would you say they are just doing that just to have a laugh yeah or would you really say they do not know how to use the equipment it, to be very honest, both can be the reasons and they just want to have a laugh. For example, they went to the presidential house, they went to a lot of houses with, they, they were like, they were shocked to see how were they living. You know, when they see poor people in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. they don't have anything to eat. But you must have seen the video where their prime minister, presidents, where their ministers were living. Such a lavish lifestyle, you will get shocked. There was money as well. There, there was, was money as well. Yeah. And uh, Ashraf Ghani Saab, he, there's a claim about, from Russia that he went with four cars and one helicopter full of dollars. And he had to leave some money because it couldn't fit in his car. So you can't just blame 
you know, the freedom fighters. You can't just blame, the, you know, the Afghan locals. You need to blame and you need to speak out about the, the, the corruption that has been happening in Afghanistan. There was a corruption and you can mm. see clearly how they run away from their country. They shouldn't have. I think it was been embedded in people and going forward. What do you think is the way forward and what do you, how are people going to adapt? Because this is the way forward now, isn't it? You know, a lot of people are trying to give the nasiha to Taliban. That, you know, Alhamdulillah, since they are back now in the power, they should do this. They should. No, we don't have any right to say anything to Taliban. What did we do? Like, for example, a lot of people coming up before, oh, we should not use the word Taliban. As soon as they're in power, the word is now legal to use. Mm. It's respectable to use. Now people are coming, oh, my nasihat is, I think they should let women do this. They should. No, they were ready to come into the power. This is why Allah gave them the power. Allah gave them power when they were ready. Allah will never give power to somebody who's not, not ready for that. They are ready for that. They came into power. I think we should just stop, have some popcorn. And let uh, watch the movie. Let's see what's going to happen. So you're next. saying they were they were blessed with the power. Yeah, they the were box. blessed with. Obviously, it's a 20 years of 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 a fight, a blurred, a lives that they gave. A lot of shahada happened. They obviously, you know, after every one war, you go 20 years back. So now they are like 100 years back. They need to work on their economy. They need to work on a lot of things. And the best thing that they have done, which I am impressed with, the way they are dealing with the media. Wherever they are going, they're taking their own media team there. They are, uh, uh, you know, giving interviews in different languages as well. They are trying. They are not very hardcore how they were before. And uh, I think, th obviously, they have learned a lot of lessons as well. Mm. We, we were not saying they were completely right. They have learned a lot of lessons as well. And let's hope for the best for Afghan and our Afghan brothers and sisters around the world. That's what we can do. I think we should not laugh. A lot of people are laughing over the videos when the people fell from the uh, yeah. aeroplane and everything. That was a, that's a very oh, sad they, moment. They've lost their life. And, and, and we should, all we can say is that we as a Pakistani, as a Muslim, should stand with Afghan brothers and sisters and be it Taliban, be it the Afghan government, whoever is good for the future of Taliban, uh, for the future of Afghanistan, inshallah. Uh, may Allah make it easy for them. I mean, there you go, guys. Brother Faq, my little boy, back <laughs> again, in, uh, you know, on this conversation. I just want to say thank you very much for coming. Thank you very and much. And in the words of Afaf Khan, we should sit back have some popcorn and see what happens, inshallah. Jazakallah for tuning in on Thank Face the Facts. Stay safe and inshallah. See you again. Allah Hafiz.